Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to scan anything using your scanner in the Windows Fax and Scan app. To open up this app, all you need to do is press your start button and type in scan. And you now need to click on Windows Fax and Scan. This is an application that comes pre-installed on Windows 10. Once you have the screen up, you now need to make sure you have scan selected down the bottom left here. And we can now go to the top left hand corner and click on new scan. It will now connect to your scanner. And once it has, it will have your scanner name here. If this is not the correct scanner, then you can click change and select the right scanner. We now have a few options to choose from. At the moment, my profile is set to photo. If we just click on this drop down menu, we now have a few different options. We have last use settings and we have documents and we can add our own profile. I actually always just keep photo profile on because I find it does the scan perfectly fine with that option. In the next settings, we have our color format. At the moment, mine is on color, but you can change it to grayscale or black and white. We also have our file type. At the moment, mine is on a JPEG. We can actually either choose BMP, PNG or TIF file. We can change our resolution here, which is currently on 200. I'm actually going to keep it on that. And we now have our brightness and contrast. And I'm just going to leave that on zero. You now need to click on scan once you are happy with your settings. And there we go. As you can see, it has scanned my bit of paper with computer sluggish written on it. You now need to right click on the image up the top here and go save as. And we can now choose where we would like to save our scanned image to. I'm just going to save it to my desktop and just call it test and hit save. And there we go. As you can see, it is now on my desktop. And if I double click on it and press OK, and there it is. It really is as easy as that. I hope this tutorial has helped on Windows Facts and Scan application. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.